Welcome to World Record Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Record Coup, and today I am reviewing the NECA Heroes of the Storm, Sylvanas, the Banshee Queen. This is the figure I've been waiting for. I played the song, The Lament of the Highborn, um, which is a well-known song. I'll turn it on really low in the background. Um, that's her her people's song, basically. Um, it's a very sad song, but she has a very tragic story. Um, I'm not going to get into all the details. She's basically a highborn elf um, that was killed by the Lich King and resurrected. And she ended up becoming the Forsaken's leader in the World of Warcraft. So she's, she died and came back. Um, she's a very interesting character. One of my favorites in the World of Warcraft. And I don't even like the Horde. But she is just such an interesting character. You, you can't help but love her story. Um, this NECA figure is more of a statue. Um, but it looks amazing. Um, she does come with several um, of these arrows. Uh, but just like my boy Allende said, Allende said um, these are very brittle. Um, and you have to be careful with uh, how you you know use these, especially putting them in the sheath. Because I had a heck of a time. Let's see if I can get some light in there so you can see. I had a heck of a time trying to, well, you can't really see it, get them in the sheath. There's three arrows but I can only get two at a time in the sheath. So be very careful with that. Um, the figure itself has also comes with a nice bow. Um, this bow is very nice. Not my favorite one that she has in Heroes of the Storm, but this is the one, this is her default skin. Um, Cause you can do different skins in this game. I like the hood, the face is great. The coloration on the hair, spectacular. Um, a little bit of a dunk. Oh, a little bit nice of a dunk back there. Um, nice color to her skin, which is accurate. Um, I love this cape, especially. It's like a nylon material. Um, it's soft. I don't have any action figures that have that. Um, my big complaint that's also a big plus this figure is her shoulders are accurate for a, a, a World of Warcraft character. But they are very, um, very, very... Hem they, they hemorrhage or they, they hurt the ability for her to use her hands as much. Um, she doesn't have much range or mobility. Um, and mine's actually really stiff, so I don't want to break it, but she can't do a whole lot of movement with her with her hands because of the shoulders. She can't get her to have like a, a wide uh, stance on them. So that's a bummer. Um, she does have a nice little waist swivel. You know, get some Shakira going on. Oh, don't you know? You know, my hips don't lie. So, yeah, um, there's that. And she's got a... Oh, I just noticed that there's her little sheath for her arrows is underneath her her neck, which is nice. So, NECA is just killing it when it comes to the detail uh, on this figure. I absolutely just love all the odds and ends this thing has on it. I mean, it just, it killed that. I mean, yeah, it's not going to be the most mobile uh, action figure, but at the same time, it's going to give you a lot of, you know, great shots in certain poses just because it is so finely detailed. I mean, this is what an action figure can be when you add all the paint and molding. Um, she does also have one last effect which is my one of my favorite abilities in her arsenal, Black Arrow. This is also an ability in Black World of Warcraft. It actually like does like a damage over time effect on the person that gets hit with it. It's almost like a poison that just solely drains and kills them. Um, so that's what this ability is called. That's why it's like a little purplish hue to it. Um, they did a great job molding it. And again, that's a Black Arrow. Very different from the normal arrows. So there's that. Um, it's not much more I can say on this action figure besides the fact that I definitely would recommend picking it up. 21 bucks at Toys R Us or some of the other online retailers if you can find it. Um, and I don't think you'll have much trouble finding it. Don't do like I did and get word and order it online from Toys R Us quickly just for fear of them 
not being there because I saw plenty of this as well as Rainer, but have not seen any thralls. So this is the last line of these. I hope to find the thrall before this is all over with and maybe go back and get some of the other ones like the Lich King as well as um, Illidan, but we'll see. So I will keep you posted on my NECA finds. I have just now become a NECA um, reviewer as well, as long as I can keep finding ones that I actually like. Um, so yeah, there's that. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Um, and I'm sorry, I didn't go over the leg articulation. She has a little bit of leg articulation, not much um, at all. I mean, again, guys, just think of this as a just a, a, a piece, conversation piece in your man cave or your display because she's not really meant for a lot of different poses. She's just not. But she looks great. So, again, I hope you like this review. If you have, please don't feel fr feel free to hit the subscribe button here or check out my previous NECA video there. And thanks, as always. Peace. I almost forgot. I've got to show you Sylvanas skins. So this is her standard skin, very similar to what you already saw on the action figure. She has several. I'm glad they went with the color they did. As you can see, she's got some pretty cool ones. Back when she was alive, she looked more or less like this. That's how she looked when she was alive. Then this is when she's a war chief of the Horde. Or not was, she still is. So yeah, you see she's got some pretty cool skins. I'm gonna take it back to that one. And you can see I play her quite a bit because she's level 12, so she's higher up there. But just want you all to see that too.